This is Mayo Clinic Talks, a curated weekly podcast for physicians and healthcare providers. I'm your host, Daryl Chutka, a general internist at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Historically, traditional treatment for malignancy has included surgery, radiation therapy, and chemotherapy. While these treatments have proven effective in many patients, not all have a malignancy responsive to these treatments and many suffer adverse effects or known complications from these therapies. Regenerative immunotherapy is a form of cancer treatment that uses the power of our own immune system to treat malignancy. It may take a variety of forms, targeted antibodies, cancer vaccines, or tumor infecting viruses to name a few. Some immunotherapy treatments use genetic engineering to enhance our immune cells cancer fighting properties and can often be used in combination with the more traditional treatments. Regenerative immunotherapy has been approved in the United States by the FDI as a treatment of multiple cancers and may also be an effective form of treatment for patients with malignancies that have been somewhat resistant to more traditional therapy. With us today to discuss regenerative immunotherapy is Dr. Saad Kandarian, a hematologist at the Mayo Clinic. Saad, welcome and thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. Well, why don't we start by asking you to describe the relationship between cancer and our immune system? How do they interact? Yeah, it's a good question. And it's a, it's a question that my patients ask all the time. Um, the reality is that cancer to develop, it has to escape the immune system, a process that immunologists refer to as immune tolerance. You know, normally our immune system does not recognize our own antigen, our own body, so that we don't get autoimmune diseases. And during evolution, cancer acquires that tolerance and escape the immune system. And that's one of the principles of cancer um, development. There are several ways that cancer can escape the immune system. There is what, what the immunologists call peripheral tolerance related to the immune cells in the body. And there is central tolerance that's related to the thymus um, during um, development. So how do we use our immune system to treat malignancy? The concept of using immune therapy, using our own immune system to treat malignancy is really old. And it is, if you think of it, there are two large groups, large categories. In one category that you use antibodies or small molecules or viruses to stimulate our own immune cells and get them to recognize cancer cells. And some of these antibodies have been quite effective and FDA approved. That is one category, if you like. The other category is taking the immune cells and engineering them in the lab to make them recognize cancer. In essence, you do two things, taking the immune cells that have failed to recognize cancer that are not as active, and you stimulate them to become more active and engineer them to recognize cancer and then give them back. And that's the field that is adoptive cell therapy or engineered um, cell therapy. 